Dear students, in this lecture, I am going to tell you how to download and install Anaconda Python. To run the Python code, you will type download Anaconda Python on Google and click enter. And here you can see that there are different sites that represent your desired query. And here you can see that this is showing us the documentation of installation on Windows, Mac, operating system and Linux. Anyhow, we will go to the site and here at the right side you will see that download Anaconda. Click on this and it will take you to new tab and here go to this and press this download button and you see here that this is the windows mac os and linux versions and there are two setups here two exe files first one is 64 bit and the next one is 32 bit in the gui interface and here if you are running Mac OS, then you can download your relevant version. And for Linux users, these options are available. And if you want to download the older versions, you have a archive here. And you can download the required file, exe file, and then run. So these are the versions. Anyhow, we will install it on the windows so my computer is 64 bits i will save this file i have already saved this file so i am pressing save file so it will take some time as it is 457 mb of file anyhow i will lead you to already installed file so after installation the file would be like this and I am going to stop this one and run this file so you can place this file on any drive where you want to run it I am going to double click it and you will see that it is asking us that if you if you want to click to next so this setup will guide you through the installation of Anaconda 3 and 64 bit version and it, it says that it is recommended that you close all other applications before setup I will press next and here is the license agreement so for the end users you can read this license agreement so in most video lectures in most tutorials almost all tutorials no one asks to read the license agreement but uh, i will recommend to read the lessons and go through this documentation so that you can know about your privacy and security and the information regarding this anaconda and its use anyhow I will click I agree and it is saying that there are two options just me it is recommended and all users so uh, it is for multiple users but I will select just me here just me radio button and I will press next and it is asking me to where it wants to where I want to place this so you can browse any folder where you want to place anyhow I will press next and it gives us two options that add anaconda 3 to my path environment variable that is not recommended because it will affect other applications that will run on your computer instead open anaconda 3 with the windows start menu and select anaconda this add to path option makes anaconda get found before previously installed software but may cause problems requiring you to 
uninstall and reinstall Anaconda and the next option is register Anaconda 3 as my default Python 3.8 so this will allow other programs such as Python tools for Visual Studio by Charm and by Dave etc to automatically detect Anaconda as the primary Python 3.8 on this system so I will check this so if you check this it is showing the warning in the red and I will install this so it will take a few time it is installing you will have to wait for a little you can work on R programming and Python with the help of this Anaconda so it contains spider and Jupyter notebook and other environments for working on Python and R and I prefer Jupyter notebook you can also run your code on the Google Collaborator online so there are many cases that students uh, are unable to install Anaconda or some ID on the on their computer and thus they fail to download and install the relevant software and they give up they lose hope and don't work further so I will recommend you that if you are unable to download or install any relevant software on which you are going to work then go for online and just type if you are working on the Python and you are unable to download Anaconda or other working environment just don't be worried just go to Google Collaborator or any online Python editor so it is taking much time uh, I will show you next what is going on there you can see the details here that what packages it is installing here anyhow I am cutting this video here and I will lead you to the next step So we are here again and it has taken us about 8 to 9 minutes and I now I am going to press next and here you will see that working with Python and Jupyter Notebooks is a breeze with PyCharm. Okay I will press next button and if you want to uh, want the Anaconda individual edition tutorial then you can check this box and if you want to learn more about Anaconda you will also check this box and it is displaying the message that thank you for installing Anaconda individual edition here are some helpful tips and resources to get you started so I don't want to learn more I will press finish so here we are finished with this Anaconda installation and in the next lecture we will launch it and work on the Python Jupyter Notebook.